everybody and welcome to another episode of Energize Forever TV. This is Fabrizio Poli and Celia. Hi. And we have something very weird looking here. Um, what is it, Celia? The jackfruit is one of my favorite fruits. <laughs> a jackfruit. Very weird looking fruit, very prickly. A bit smelly sometimes as well. Okay. It's good when it's ready. Yeah, you can find this in the Asian markets. It's very, you would probably find it not easy to find in, in the UK unless you go to an Asian market. But it's a fruit which has got a lot of really powerful properties. It's, it's a bit of... similar to durian. As yeah. Well. It's very detoxifying, it's uh, antioxidant, anti cancer. It is very good to lower the blood pressure. Or the roots is used, for example, if you have fever, diarrhea, or asthma. And it's a very, very, very good plant and a very good fruit. It's very tasty. Yeah, it's also very tasty. Now, you, now Sylvia's going to show us how to open it and then how, how you eat it in different ways, what you can do with the jackfruit. So how you can eat because there's lots of different ways that you can use your jackfruit. So let's, let's, let's get into it it's and see what it looks like. I, get, I bet you're curious because it's really weird looking fruit. It happened to a few months ago. We didn't even know it existed until one landed in our house and, and we discovered this amazing fruit which is extremely tasty. I mean, the kids absolutely love it and so do our dogs. Yeah, we do, yeah. And yeah, and so do we, yeah. Okay, so when you go to buy it, uh, the first thing you need to see, to look at, is the color. Okay, if it's too green, that means it's not ready. If it's too brown, that means it's too ripe. You need to find a good balance between yellowish color and then the green. Yeah, yeah this is just about right. I mean, we bought this this morning at the fruit and vegetable market here in Muscat, and then we left it out in the sun for a few hours. Yeah, and just to, to catch a little bit more of the energy of the sun. If yeah. it's not ripe, usually I let it, I leave it out for maybe a few days uh -huh. until it's ripened very well. And you, you know that it's ready when it smells. Yeah. <laughs> it smells. Okay. No, it's not as smelly as a durian. Yeah, I mean, those of you that, that have eaten durian, you know that it smells like smelly socks after a few <laughs> days until you open it and you eat it. Uh, this, this looks very different to a durian, and you'll see that in a few yeah, minutes. But it still smells quite strong. It's a nice smell. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get into it and see what it Okay, so, what it looks when you like. come home, so when you go and buy it, just touch it, and if you feel that it's quite soft, then it means that it's ready. And you always check the smell, this, yeah. then you need to find a little bit of smell, please. Yeah, these yeah. grow, they grow in Sri Lanka. You can find oh, lots of them in Sri Lanka. Yes, they have in many different countries, yeah. but it's very, very nice. Usually in quite hot climates. Okay, so when you come home with your jacket, then you're so happy, ready to open it. And make sure you wear something like, like even if it gets spoiled, you don't mind because inside is very sticky. And I washed it before and dried it a little bit because being so stingy, all the water can stay inside, so it's better to dry it a bit, maybe with a towel or something. Okay, so to put underneath because inside is very sticky, I I, do, I usually I use this kind of paper, is a like freezing paper or something that the kids can use to draw on. You need some olive oil or some kind of oil, you can use coconut oil or whichever oil, a big knife, maybe. and then some tissues you will need and you will see why. Okay, thank you. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. Okay, so before you start, I got this, but you usually put some olive oil on here. And it's better if you put some olive oil on your hands as well, so you are ready. Now I'm ready. <laughs> Here we okay, go. Okay, perfect. So you go, you cut it. And now you open it. This is ready, ready. Okay, see how it is inside? So here we go. Ready. And here's a closer look there. Okay, this is the jackfruit. There we go. Okay, so, so you so open it. Close. There you go. And when you open it, you find the seed. Okay, so you eat this. It's very tasty. Okay, and the it's seed. Really, really tasty. It's as we sweet. said before, the seeds you can either boil them or you can roast them quickly. And they become they are similar to chestnuts, and the property of the seeds similar to eggs, but without all the heaviness and the cholesterol that eggs have. So this is very very nice. Okay, now this is not too bad, but usually when you open this one, you will find 
a sticky thing. Can you see? So what do you do with this? You take a towel, a new one. That's why I said you need some of these. Okay, you take some olive oil and then you go around and you take this part off because otherwise, look at Maurizio, what do you need? You will get all sticky. So you need to take this off first and then you can take your wonderful fruit. Okay, so you take all the sticky parts of your way. Now like this. Mm. This for me is a bit harder. Like I mean, this is great for a snack. I mean, the kids love it. So, as you know, we don't eat Snickers bars and all that junk, junk stuff. You can so, even find it dry. Yeah, so... The first we, time I heard of it, it was dry. So we have, we have, a, we, I mean, we buy one or two of these a week. So we always have jackfruit. And okay, we'll do, so as this is what Sylvia's doing now, she's going to be pulling it all out and so put it in a bowl. And then we'll put the bowl in the fridge. And, and then whenever the kids want a snack or we want a snack, um, we'll, we'll eat the jackfruit. And, and our dogs, who are vegan actually, uh, just to let you know, uh, our veggie pops as we call them, uh, they love jackfruit. They actually go crazy for jackfruit. Really, really, really okay, tasty. in some cases, usually this one you don't eat. There are some bits inside, these bits inside. Usually you, you don't eat them. Yeah. Okay, in uh, Sri Lanka, they use sometimes this glue that you find inside as a real glue. They use it, for example, when they have a bathtub that is not working properly, that is yeah. leaking. So they take some of this glue, they put it on, they warm to make it work. Yeah, it will wait, yeah. Dry or something. Yeah. And then let it dry. And here you go, you have your silicone, natural silicone. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good, yeah. And another thing, usually, when you have the skin left, don't throw it away. Because usually this is very good for cows and sometimes even to our dogs. When you open it, maybe I will show you at the end, when you take all the fruits out, these stingy bits that are left are very good for animals. Our dogs love to go and just chew them out. And it's, it's very, very good for animals as well. So you see, okay, I just want to show you. You see this stingy bits. And sometimes they are thick. And when they are thicker, they are tasty for us as well. They are very nice to be eaten as well. So this is a wonderful fruit. It's a delicious fruit. <laughs> and it's a fruit that we really use a lot in our family. This is very, very good. It's very we just sometimes we just have one day just for jackfruit and the kids love it, they are so happy. Can we have our jackfruit day today? Okay. <laughs> it's very tasty, very nice and very nourishing as well. So So, hope you enjoyed your lesson on jackfruit. And I'm ready to eat now. We're going to have a nice feast. So, thank you for watching Energize Forever TV. We're here to change the world one family at a time. See you next time. Bye! Bye.